Honorable Senators, the term Agent Orange became almost a household expression in Canada during the Vietnam War. Honorable Senators will know that Agent Orange is a toxic defoliant used by the United States military, but many of us did not know and did, uh, do, do not know that the U.S. military was using Agent Orange at the Canadian Forces Base Gagetown in New Brunswick during the 1960s. Agent Orange contains a chemical called dioxin, a known carcinogen which has been linked to various types of cancer. Scientific testing in New Brunswick into this matter has not been consistent. But my main focus today is not to dissect the scientific standpoint, but from a human standpoint. The fact is that during the 1960s, soldiers, their families, and civilian employees at the Canadian Forces Base Gagetown, as well as civilians living in the neighborhood, were all exposed unknowingly to Agent Orange. On September 12, 2007, Minister of Veterans Affairs Greg Thompson announced the government's plan for payments to certain individuals who had been exposed to Agent Orange, and $96 million was set aside for payments of $20,000 each to eligible military and civilian personnel. The government has decided that eligible in this instance means that the applicants have to have been diagnosed with at least one of 12 diseases identified by the U.S. Institute of Medicine and furthermore would have to have been living in the base or within five kilometers radius during the summers of 1966 or 67. If the person died from cancer, their spouse or caregiver would be entitled to claim in their stead. However, Minister Thompson announced that the program would only be effective after February 6, 2006 the day that the Harper government took office. Honorable Senators, this means that veterans or civilians, in order to be eligible, would have to be living on or after February 6, 2006. If they died before the Harper government took office, the caregiver would not be eligible for payment. Widows on the War Path is a group founded in New Brunswick that is fighting to correct the inequities of the Harper government. The members are widows whose husbands were confirmed to have been living in, at the base Gagetown during the time of spraying, have medical documentation proving that they were negatively affected by the dioxins in Agent Orange. Most of their members have applied for payments, the ex gratia payments, but have been denied on the grounds that their husbands died before uh, the cutoff date of February 6, 2006. They are arguing that the surviving spouse of servicemen who died before February 6, 2006 is just as entitled to a payment as a surviving spouse of a, of a serviceman who died after February 6, 2006, all else being equal. After the, another qualifying date looms, honorable senators, the deadline for applications under this program expires on April 1, 2009, which is next week. As of the end of last month, Veterans Affairs have approved $41 million in payments. That is less than half of the allowed, allotted amount. <clears throat> Once the program has ended, the unused money will return to general revenue and not to Veterans Affairs. If there are funds left in the program, why not relax the restrictions? Why only the years 1966 and 67 spraying, when, when spraying of Agent Orange took place uh, at other times as well? Why only five kilometers from the base? Why only 12 diseases, diseases as outlined by the U.S. Institute of Medicine? Why must a soldier be uh, surviving uh, and, and have been living uh, when the Harper government was elected on February the 6th, 2006? In a pre-election speech in Woodstock, New Brunswick, on January the 11th, 2006, Mr. Harper made a promise. We, a conservative government, will stand for full and fair compensation to persons exposed to defoliant spraying during the period 1956 to 1984. Colleagues, this promise has not been kept. We have seen from the main estimates for this fiscal year that are begin next week, there is no provision to continue this program. 
But I can assure you, honorable senators, that in spite of these artificial deadlines set by the Harper government, the damage done to the civilians and military personnel in New Brunswick by Agent Orange is an issue which will not disappear.